Hello there. Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share a story with you all. But before that, I have a few questions for you. What are those dreams you're not chasing? What are those risks you're not taking? And what is that opportunity that is knocking on your door? Or that chance that is knocking on your door and you're not letting it in? You're not opening the door for it? Another question. Are you a Disney fan? <laughs> a bit out of track, right? Well, you'll definitely know why I ask you these questions. But before that, here is our story. Okay, it's a story about a girl. This girl is a total introvert. What I mean by a total introvert, like she's socially inactive. She gets really shy around people. When she's with people, a lot of people, she gets really uncomfortable that she fails to express herself. She doesn't like to mix with people. So she comes to this new school and she thought to herself, she had a dream. She, she has always dreamed to be a public speaker, to speak in front of a lot of people. But she had fears, she had her own fears that she needs to fight. So she thought to herself, only if I could be friends with the popular girls in my school, in my class, would I be able to achieve those dreams of mine? So she walks into this class and then her classmates were not what she thought them of to be. They were not, I won't say they're not what she, um, yes, they were not what she thought them of to be. They were good, they were smart, smart students, but when it comes to public speaking, it's not just their thing, even though they're very good at it. So there was a day, a fateful day, their English teacher walked up into the class and then asked two students to volunteer. She needed two students in that class to volunteer to sign up for a debate that was going to hold in the school. None of them did. They were not, it's not that actually their thing, so they didn't sign up. She saw how hesitant they were towards the issue, so she had to, she warned them. She said, next class, if nobody signs up, then she's going to forcefully choose them. This girl, this new girl that came to the new school, she was really, she wanted to really take part in it. But seeing that, nobody in her class signed up. So she was like, I think it's not a good idea, maybe not this time. She went on pondering over that thing. She couldn't sleep, she was just thinking about it. So the next day, she asked, their, she asked her classmates, none of you is going to sign this. They said, no, you know what, it's not our thing. So when she gets tired of asking us, she'll definitely choose from another class. We're not the only students in the school. So she said, oh, the chance is slipping away from her. The next day, the English teacher walks up again. Nobody signed. So she said she has to first forcefully choose them. And guess what? That introvert girl was chosen. She was really happy and scared at the same time. She had never talked publicly in front of people. So she went home with this excitement and then fear that she had. She was pondering, what if I go out there and make a fool out of myself? I get really uncomfortable around people. So how am I supposed to fight this? What if they laugh at me? What if I stammer? What if I forget everything I have to say? What if, what if, what if, a lot of what ifs, negative thoughts. Then she had this faint whisper from within. What if you go out there and do just great? She listened. Yeah, what if you go out there and perform amazingly? Then she said, yeah, I could do that. She just took heed of that whisper that she had and then went and prepared for her debate. Now, the D-Day is here and then she has been called to come up the stage and she's shivering, fear. She's all afraid. What if, what if, what if? She just cleared her mind, walked up to the stage. The moment she took the mic and started talking, the words flew, flowed smoothly from her mouth. She did just great as she had the whisper before. She was amazing. She was awesome. What she did was so great that a lot of students were actually surprised. How was she able to do it? A lot of teachers complimented her because in class she's normally quiet. She doesn't talk. So they thought she was not good for it. The whisper. 
before. She was amazing. She was awesome. What she did was so great that a lot of students were actually surprised. How was she able to do it? A lot of teachers complimented her because in class she's normally quiet. She doesn't talk. So they thought she was not good for it. And even though her team didn't win, but she got a lot of points for them. And she was really happy because she was able to fight her fears. Well, we might be wondering who that girl happens to be. Well, who is she? <laughs> that girl happens to be me. I was actually very shy when I'm around a lot of people. I do not talk. I fail to express myself even though things are not going like as I want them. But I had a secret ingredient that helped me to fight those fears that I have, those negative thoughts that I've always thought. Well, that secret ingredient was Disney movies. I asked you earlier if you are a fan of Disney movies. And I thought when I was asking those questions, it's kind of out of track, right? But to me, actually, it kept me going. I saw how Mulan went. She, she took the invitation they gave her father to come and fight for the nation. She took it and went and fought like a warrior. She saved their nation, even though, despite all their traditions and the culture that they had, she went and fought like a warrior, a great warrior. She became the greatest warrior, female, and the first female warrior that they had in their nation. And I saw how Rapunzel and I saw how Rapunzel fled with friend Ryder to go to see the lanterns. Even though her mother kept her away from the world in that big tower. But when he came there, she saw the opportunity. She definitely grabbed it, went to see the lanterns, and she found out that she was the princess, the lost princess that they've been looking for. I saw how Barbie broke through her insecurities to fight all those monsters and a lot of stuff like that. All I learned from there was how they all broke through their insecurities, the fears that they had to go and do great things that they never imagined that they could have achieved. So, this is my story. Okay, there was a survey that was conducted in an elderly hospital or the home of the elderly people. They were asked, what, what is their life's greatest regrets? Their answers were really outrageous. Most of the answers they gave were they regretted the things that they not that they regretted the things that they did, but they regretted the things that they couldn't do when they had the chance, the dreams they never pursued, the risks they never took, and a lot of opportunities and chances that they never took and let in. The fact that nobody is doing it doesn't mean that you cannot do it. You have to give it a try. And if we also are going to fold our arms and sit till somebody comes, somebody extraordinary comes into it, nobody is doing it for us. You are the only person that can, own, that can fight your own battle. Nobody is going to do it for you. And the fact that nobody did sign up for that debate in my class and we were first place chosen, if I hadn't, I was having a second thought when I was chosen. I thought that maybe I could just go to this English teacher and told her I can't do it. But she didn't even care whether I could do it or not. She had to choose me. And when I didn't go forever, I'm grateful for that moment, for that nomination that I had. Because if not for that, I would have been living in the show that I built for myself to be socially inactive and not be able to pursue my dreams. You can do it. You have to fight those fears. Sometimes those fears, we're, they're not actually fears. We just create them in our mind. We have to listen to those little whispers. If I hadn't listened to that little faint whisper that I had from within, what if you go out and you just create? If I hadn't listened to it, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to actually go for my dreams. So you can also do it. There was something I was given in our English class that it said, let me read it to you. A year from now, you may wish that you had started today. And trust me, if you go for your dreams a year from now, if you haven't gone for it, you would have wished that you started it today. So if there's anything you want to do and you think that you can't overcome your fear, you can do, you can truly overcome it. This is it. A year from now, you you would wish that you had started today.
So I say, go for those dreams, go out there and do just great. As I listen to that whisper, you also should listen to the faint whispers that you have. Okay, back to our questions. What? Just think on your own. What are those dreams you're not chasing, the risks you're not taking? And you might want to watch some Disney movies to help you to see how, if you're not a Disney fan, that is. You might want to watch a few to see how they actually go out there to conquer the world, to, see, to do a lot of great and amazing things. Okay, hey there, you've made it to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that little bell by the side to get notification when a new video is being uploaded. Thank you.